NFL 24. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Steamers of San Antonio taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in playing reasonably well. Losers the last time out, but winners of four or five before that. Meanwhile, for our visiting San Antonio Ball Club, they come in off their very first loss of the year, suffered a week ago. Yeah, it will not be a perfect season, but I'm interested to see how they bounce back now that they know that chasing the 1972 Dolphins is out the window. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. He takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And led out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sucked them last week resolves itself this time around. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Looking to throw. Man. Throwing middle complete seven yards there and a first down and the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath if they've got good hands then of course they're a dynamic target but one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver on second down and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. When you look at this defense, and this unit, very tough to throw against, currently second best in the NFL. And this unit knows exactly where they rank. They're number two against the pass in the NFL. You know they have their sights set on being number one, looking for a big game today. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Back to throw. Man. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Parsons. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Eight catches, 65 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is at the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Again, he'll drop to throw. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll be fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. And this one is right down the middle. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be let out by a young man making his first NFL start. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sand. And that'll bring up third. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack when they changed that quickly. But did they ever? There was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he'll take it just outside the 40. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And, Charles, you look at these two teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right. You love having easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shock of playoff football. Calling a gain of three on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two, man. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first down, Horn. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. He finds his man complete. That's Porter. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. So the penalty rightfully declined. They'll keep the yardage on the completion. Still some disagreement by the defense, though, because he thought that was just good, strong coverage, and the contact's going both ways, so why is there a flag? In the end, though, doesn't matter. Still completed pass. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Here's a give up the middle. 
And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On third and two, man. And to find the open man, that's complete. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Looking to throw. Man. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to them quickly and put the quarterback down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Back to throw. Man. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tucker rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. drive out on the ground and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 a quick first down pickup good start after going three and out on their opening drive and they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground and good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield holding offense So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now back to throw. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. The numbers for him from a week ago. Six catches, 86 yards. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. Second and 13. That's to the sideline and incomplete. You talk about this Lions defense. They come into this one rounding out the top 10 in the 10 spot against the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And they will take over first and ten. Detroit's offense ready. Throwing to start the drive. Man. And 
and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll try the left side. Horn, and it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 6-0 our score after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when we talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Looking to throw. Man. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Back to throw. Man. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Porter. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Back to throw again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken at the 15. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back out comes San Antonio. And their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles. Is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this, people like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group, and sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. QB. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He'll look to throw. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. He'll drop to throw. First by him near the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and nine. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground down right around the 25. 
A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. This drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe something to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Off the play fake. Man. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Looking to throw. Man. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. They'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Up the middle they go. Oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So it winds up a very smart decision to throw the flag. They reset the spot, and now that's a first down. On first down, man. He finds his man complete. That's Parsons. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Second down and three. Back to throw. Man. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Third catch of this first half for him. And this one is a first down. the middle. Horn. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Detroit. A great play there. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Lions are able to add on to that lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, Speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. 
Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Back out comes San Antonio. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And he is going to lose yardage here. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Not an easy spot here. And we'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is brought in at the 21. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10. to throw again. Man. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Throwing on first down. Man, quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 46, here's the second and four. Looking to throw. Man, oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Back out comes San Antonio. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll try and start this drive in the air, escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On second down now, Monroe. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Back to throw now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 
short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Second and six. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Wide open receiver complete. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll drop to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll look to throw here. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Steamers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. So the late touchdown there, and that certainly changes things as we move toward halftime. Yeah, and there's a potential for things to change even. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be Previous confirmed by the replay review. official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead down to three at 13-10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, make sure you avoid the crazies out there and welcome in everybody to this Halloween edition of our EA Sports Halftime Report. We'll begin up in the Still City, Akershire Stadium in Pittsburgh. And they are nearing halftime with the Steelers out in front. The Steelers trying to hold on and claim victory. Next, let's get over to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And you can see they are out in front in that one. The Ravens looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Thunderbirds locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. 
A field goal the difference, a tight one through two quarters, and we are back and underway for the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. But this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Now a throw here, hold in. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's a second and seven. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Timing is so important on a route like this because it's going to run about right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Throwing to start the drive. Man, his throw incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Back to throw. Man. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Let's just call it, as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. Now a play fake here on first down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Zone coverage there. They were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there. And it winds up incomplete. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Back out comes San Antonio. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. 
And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense. So you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And take it right on the 30. A yeah, seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Throw left side complete. That's Parsons. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Off play action. Man. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Down the numbers. There he goes. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter, but now potentially a play that could have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up, but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. Back out comes San Antonio. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second down, they'll run it here. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now back to throw. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That that's might be P.I. Ethan. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Then he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. The medical staff is going to come out here to take a look. And we will take a short break. Third down and six. They'll set up to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is good. And that's going to tie us at 13. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball all that much. However, they do get three out of it with a field goal. Yeah, and anytime you do force a turnover... You have to come out of it with points. Everybody wants six. They'll take the three there. Now it's their opportunity to do it again. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And Detroit getting set to go now. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game 
you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond. Not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the play fake. Man. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That goes for a gain of 31. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Up the middle they go. Holiday, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took his Pressure comes and down he goes. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Looking to throw. Man. And that will be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Back out comes San Antonio. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I like the way you have described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Second and three. Try to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. The Lions offense set to take over. Following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. On first and ten, man. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Back to throw. Man. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And with it, they have taken the lead. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. 
Back out comes San Antonio. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball and make it faster. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minks, had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. They'll run on first down. Horn. And they'll get this down to the 48-yard line. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying it around campus, right? The old golfer drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They go play action here on first down. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of four.
He'll drop to throw. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down. Went backwards. It's third and very low. He'll look to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Yeah, they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Good time for another look at this Lions offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Over the middle complete. It's Parsons. It'll go as a gain of four and it'll be second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It's a first down following a gain of three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Off play action. Man. Over the middle, it's complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield is spotted at the 49. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. They'll look to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Now a handoff up the middle. Holiday. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 43. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. On second down, Holiday. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Parsons. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. It doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, man. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down. Just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. With his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Lions will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. Here in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. And this taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by 10, a little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And that was picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Able to hook up here with Ridley. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Now second and four. They'll set up a throw. Open man downfield is Ridley. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long, and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though, two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. to throw here and that is incomplete what a pressure there on third down forcing the errant pass fourth down coming up that means it's just one last chance left and this has to be a first down or a touchdown or this game's over and this one looks good it is good right down the pipe and this is back down to a seven point game 
So we're back to a one-score game, and now you figure we'll likely see an onside kick. Yeah, they've only got the one timeout remaining, so I think they've got to take a chance of getting the ball back. Yeah, this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. And yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win.